So let's take a look at a greater dividend, and we're going to start with dividends that have a zero at the end. Let's say we have the number 360 and we need to divide it into four equal groups. Could be $360, could be 360 minutes, could be 360 anything. Well, there are different ways to take a look at this, but whatever way we go about, we want to be able to explain it and show understanding. So we've got a little thought bubble to help us work through what goes on in our head on the right, and then on the left, what we might put on our paper. So I see inside of this, um, first off, a 36 and a 4, and that pings in my head. Oh, there's a fact family there. I want to remember... Oh yeah, 4 times 9 is 36, so I have a feeling that's going to help me out with things. Um, keeping that in mind, I'm going to take a, 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 a place value approach, and I'm going to start with um, looking at how, uh, how many groups of 4 can I get um, for 300. Well, I don't think I can do hundreds, because if I had 100 groups of 4... My brain is telling me, well, that would be 400, and 360 is less than 400. So my quotient's not going to be in the hundreds place. So I'm going to have to work in the tens. Uh, again, that makes me remember, oh, yeah, I remember that nine groups of four is 36. But how would I get from, say, 36 to 360? Well, 36 times 10 is 360 isn't it? It's just 10 times more. So that means that I'm not working with 9 times 4, I'm working with 90. 9 times 10, right there, times 4 to get to my 360. So 90 groups of 4 will get me a total of 360. And that takes care of everything in fitting into equal groups. The picture I might have here, if I were asked to draw, would be, okay, I've got four groups, and they've each got 90. 90, 180, 270, and 360. All right, now let's let's take a dividend that's a little bit bigger. So now I have 4,500 pickles or peanuts or anything, and I want to divide it into nine equal groups. Again, part of my brain is saying to me, oh, I see a nine, I see a 45. I want to keep in mind, I know a math fact I know that 9 groups of 5, or 5 groups of 9, gets me 45. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to start in that thousands place, and I'm going to say, can I have thousands of groups of 9 here? Well, I really can't, because my brain already is telling me that 1,000 groups of 9 is going to be 9,000, which is, like, way too big. So I'm going to be dealing in hundreds of groups of nine. I'm not going to have anything in my thousands place. Put a little X there to say, oh, no. My quotient's not thousands of groups of nine. It's more likely hundreds of groups of nine. So how many hundreds of groups of nine will work? This is where my math fact might come in. Because if I know that five groups of nine is 45, well... How do I get from 45 to 4,500? Aha! Uh -huh. I know that would mean I'd have to multiply by 100 to get to 4,500. All right, brain, you're working now. So instead of five groups of nine, I need to say, oh, I need more like 500 groups of nine, which would be 9 times 5 times 100, right? And that'll definitely get me my 4,500. All right. So let's see how that plays out on paper. 
my 500 groups of 9. 9 times 5 is 45, times 100 is 4,500 or 4,500. So now, again, if I were trying to visualize this, I might draw nine groups, and then each one would be 500. Same, 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 all the way through. I know. If you got your math facts, then, kid, you have got dividing with zeros.